the paint's dry and everything's assembled. And I've got it up on blocks right now. Got the old tires off and just waiting on the new tires to come in. I'm really excited to get this thing out and try it. I think it's really gonna I think it's really gonna be a handy tool to have. And uh hopefully make me some money on some of the properties that I need to use it on. For those that are uh, curious or want to know, when I have the uh, wheels down so that all four tires are making contact with the ground, my cutting height is five inches, five inches even, and with the tires up and the deck setting on the skids, it is three and a half. So that's my range. I can go anywhere from three and a half up to five just by adjusting my my front casters um, but if it's sitting on the ground three and a half is as close as I'm gonna get so that should be good to keep me safe as far as uh, tearing up spindles and uh, possibly hitting stumps and things like that it should keep me a safe distance off the ground
wind's ridiculous out here, but uh, I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that that thing was cutting off. Clean this up good. I mean, you couldn't even walk through here. It was just thick briars. and uh, I think the biggest, the biggest that I cut, I don't even know if I got it on video, but the biggest little tree that I cut off was about two inches. Uh, anything bigger than that, it couldn't hardly push it over. So, anyway, I think did an awesome job. Got all this cleaned up. This whole area knocked down. So, plus there's a bunch more on the other side of this building also. But uh, really happy with how that worked out. This thing kicks. I am very happy with how it turned out. Uh, did a fantastic job. No complaints. I mean, it just it powered through things. I really honestly could not have asked for it to perform better. A um, couple little things that I'm going to tweak, and this is just, just because I like to perfect things and, uh, you know, make things better. Uh, the two things that I think I'm going to do are, number one... The, the back of the skid right here instead of having that come out straight I'm gonna cut it somewhere in this area and angle that up just a little bit um, you know maybe not even more than an inch but add a little bit of taper to that so that when I'm backing up it's not as likely to hang up or dig in um, <clears throat> I had that happen a couple times on uh, you know little stumps or whatever that were sticking up and so that's one thing that I can uh, improve on. And the other modification that I want to make is when the wheels are folded up I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna have a piece coming up where I can run the pin through it to make sure that the wheel doesn't come down. I didn't have the wheels come down or get in the way but as I was using it I did see that that could be a possibility so um, now, I'm going to do a follow-up video whenever I do those little modifications and uh, and whatnot. But anyway, I'm tired. It's been a long day, but I just wanted to shoot this before I stop for the day. I made $100 with it today, the job that I did today. And uh, that's going to be a bi-weekly job. So that's going to bring in $200 a month for the rest of the season. So this thing is, is definitely going to pay for itself and make some money. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, as with everything I do, I hope it gives you some good ideas. And I hope it's entertaining. And uh, appreciate you guys. Have a good day.